a bit stiff, that old Yorkshire geek, and uh, a bit more Star Wars news. Um, it's all Star Wars today for some reason. Anyway, um, Return of the Jedi has been reclassified uh, in the UK. Uh, it's no longer a U certificate, which is the equivalent to American G. Um, it's been uh, reclassified to PG due to violence. <laughs> but anyway, uh, is this just another example of uh, you know the wishy-washy snowflake world that we live in nowadays but anyway we'll get into the article but before we start don't forget like and subscribe share the videos drop a comment hit the notification bell if you subscribed already explore the description for links uh, for my patreon and merch and my books and other websites and stuff like that so do all that to my like apologies for the background i'm, I'm watching uh, star trek the animated series for a live stream and i couldn't be bothered i just paused it to <laughs> Couldn't be bothered finding another picture for the background, but anyway, because I'm lazy. Right, so we'll uh, we'll get on with this uh, uh, with this article. Right, right, so here it is. Here's the article. Um, so move it over a bit. There we go. Uh, this is from the Standard. Uh, do we have a byline? Uh, Casey Cooper Fisk, double battle name, but they're frightfully posh. Anyway, uh, Star Wars film reclassified to PG due to violence and frozen Han Solo scene. Uh, other films to be reclassified by the British Board of Film Classification include Abba the Movie, which I really, I really like Abba the Movie. I went to see it at the cinema when I was a kid in the morning, nights, only eight or something like that. Um, <laughs> I'm a closet Abba, Abba fan, but never mind. Uh, Black Narcissus and Higher Learning. I think I've seen Black Narcissus, but it was a long time ago. It's an old film. I've not seen Higher Learning. There's Harrison Ford. Uh, I don't care. Right, so Star Wars uh, Episode 6 Return of the Jedi has been reclassified from a U to a PG due to its violence and a scene which shows one of the film's heroes, Han Solo, frozen in carbonite. And what about Empire Strikes Back? Is that still a U? Um, let's go and check, shall we? I'm going to check it on the BBFC, so just bear with me. Right, so I just thought I'd just check. Empire it is a PG. Oh, fair enough. I'm sure it was a U originally. I'm sure the entire Star Wars trilogy was a U certificate originally. Uh, and I don't know if it says anywhere. Um, oh, yes, there we go. Originally, well, right. 1980, it was a U. Special edition, it was a U. Now it's been reclassified in 2020 to a PG. I'm guessing that's because Han Solo got tortured. Uh, so there we go. Right. I just thought I'd check. Um, what about Star Wars? I bet Star Wars is still a U. Let's check. Let's check. Oh, it's still a U. Is a, a, a new hope. Yeah. So that's that's escaped the um, <laughs> the uh, classifications, the censors acts. Anyway. Right. Where were we? Uh, the British Board of Film Classification, BBFC, uh, had given it a U rating upon release in 1983, but said the detail and overall intensity of violence in the film meant it was changed to PG last year for violence and threat. The only violent thing I can think of, really, I mean, no, it's violent, you know, in a, an action film sort of way, like people are dying and getting shot and stuff like that. But the, the the worst thing in it is the poor um, Ewok that dies. <laughs> I think that's the, that's the the thing that affects most people, in my opinion. Despite this being offset by humour and an emphasis on loyalty in adversity, a U rating means the film is suitable for audiences aged four and above. Oh, no, I thought it was just everybody four and above and should be family-friendly, while a PG-rated film contains some content that may not be suitable for children, and parents or guardians are advised to be present while they are watching. Uh, so I'm sure that's changed as well, because I'm sure it'd just be, you know, parental guidance recommended, as in, you know, there may be some scenes that younger children may find, you know, scary or whatever, or may affect them. Um, so it's up to the parents to decide. But I didn't think they had to be present... Anyway, uh, I know it doesn't say they have to advise to be present, but uh, anyway. In its 2023 annual report, which saw the sci-fi film reclassified, uh, the BBFC said of Star Wars Episode Six, this sci-fi adventure sequel concerns rebel heroes who must rescue their friends before facing an intimidating enemy army. 
as well as laser gun fights, aerial dog fights, and fight scenes which aerial dog fights <laughs> in space, and fight scenes which include the occasional use of improvised weapons. That'll be the um, the Ewoks, won't it? Their traps and stuff, I imagine. A person forced to a presumed but unseen death, the Emperor. A villain tortures a character by repeated electrocution. Oh, yes, that's the Emperor with Luke, isn't it? Bzzz, that bit, yeah. Yes. Uh, and the hero severs a villain's hand at the wrist in a scene featuring limited detail. Well, yeah, but... Um, as we saw, it, it wasn't a real hand. It, you know, because Darth Vader, it would, be, it would be a robot hand, wasn't it? Because Darth Vader was essentially just a torso in a robot body, essentially, wasn't it? More or less. And his head. Um, so you didn't see blood or anything like that, or like bone, or it was just you saw wires sticking out of his stump, didn't you? <sighs> A captor attempts to feed his prisoner to a monster. That's the Sar um, um, Rancor scene. Uh, all, the, all the Sarlacc scenes. You could also include that. And there are other scenes of threat involving bombs. He's holding a thermal detonator. Hostages. Uh, uh, jabber. And a hero being frozen alive. But he was already frozen alive. We saw him get unfrozen in... Uh, uh, in Jedi, didn't we? Anyway. In the film, Han Solo, played by Harrison Ford, remains imprisoned in the carbon chamber after he was frozen by Darth Vader in 1980's prequel, uh, The Empire Strikes Back. Pre it's not prequel. <laughs> if it were a prequel, it would come out afterwards. It was the sequel to Star Wars. It's not a prequel to... The oh, whatever. Uh, prequel The Empire Strikes Back, which is classified as PG. I've just I should have just I should have just read the article first instead of checking, shouldn't I? Anyway, but never mind. To test whether the process will safely capture Jedi Luke Skywalker. He wasn't a Jedi at the time. Now in the hands of Crime Lord Jabba the Hutt, after he purchased him from bounty hunter Boba Fett. Purchased him. <laughs> he had a bounty out on him. Not quite the same. Semantics. Um Luke, Chewbacca, Droid C-3PO and R2-D2, a Princess Leia Organa, attempt to rescue him from the monster. What about Lando? You forgot about him. Standard racist. Uh, another film which was reclassified from its initial 1978 U rating to PG by the BBFC was ABBA the Movie. This was due to mild sex references and language in the suggestive um, song title and lyrics discussion of a sexual term and band members talking about one of them being given the title of sexiest bottom so that means they get a pg all right and what about convoy is that going to be up upgraded to a 15 or whatever certificate because that's got boobs in it but when i went to see that that would a 12 uh, that would a pg anyway it's also noted that the film features mild bad language it's an australian film so it's bound to in it the BBFC said the sequences were no longer within our standards at U, despite upholding the initial rating for video and theatrical releases in 1987 and 2008. Other films to be reclassified were 1947's Black Narcissus, which went from U to PG due to mild threat, violence, brief bloody images and discrimination. I think I've seen it, but I can't remember. And 1995's Higher Learning, which went from 15 to 18 for sexual violence, but I've not seen that one. In the report, the BBFC announced plans to strengthen its partnership with Amazon's Prime Video uh, as part of its increasing collaboration with streaming platforms operating in the UK. It said it hoped to establish a self-rating system similar to the BBFC's existing agreement with Netflix. The BBFC said it worked closely with the streaming platform to refine its internal rating processes ahead of a wider adoption of age ratings and content advice across the service. David Austin, chief executive of the BBFC, I remember when I was a kid, it was Lord Harlick that were in charge. <laughs> they were. They had a lord. 
uh, said following a precarious few years for the film and entertainment industry, it was encouraging to see cinema submissions increase in 2023. Looking forward, the BBFC will continue to deliver on our mission to support safer viewing experiences for UK audiences by supporting the cinema and home entertainment industries, as well as extending and enhancing our best practice partnerships with streaming services. As an extension of this, our groundbreaking work with AI will make trusted BBFC age ratings and content ad- content advice more accessible than ever before. And it, I'll give me thoughts on this in a minute. Enabling us to better meet the needs of our industry partners and ensure that families have the guidance they want and expect when choosing what to watch. There are exciting times ahead for the BBFC. Isn't that it? Yeah. Uh, AI. Does that mean they're not going to be watching the films anymore? They're just going to like scan them into a computer. They've probably got them already, as if, and just AI will watch the film and give its recommendation. Bet it does. Much like you know when you're in Google and you can ask Google a question and it gives you an AI answer first, uh, or even on Amazon, uh, the Amazon reviews, custom reviews, it gives like an AI summary of customer reviews, doesn't it? That's what they're going to do now with the. With um, the BBFC, with the certifications, AI is going to do it. Uh, or it's going to give its recommendation, and then, you know, the people in charge will say, fair enough. Because uh, they won't bother watching the film anymore. But that's what's going to happen. Tell the AI is going to be ruling the world before very long, if not already. Um, so there we go. So they've changed, they've upped the rating. Not that it makes any difference, but. You know, kids can still watch it. It's a PG. It's not like they've made it an 18 certificate or anything like that. But uh, I want to check. While we're here, I want to check Convoy. When I were a kid, I went to see Convoy at the cinema in 1978. You know, the Chris Christopherson film. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's a 12 now. When I went to see it, it was a P, um, oh, I think it was an A certificate. Right, so let's have a look. Does it say uh, cinema? Yeah, there we go. It was an A certificate when I went to see it in, in uh, 1978, um, which... Uh, which basically meant there might be some bad language, but there are also boobs in it, um, briefly. Uh, and a fine pair, even at my age, as I was in 1978, I was impressed. <laughs> but they've upped it to 12 now. Uh, so there we go. It's a good film, is Convoy. I really like Convoy. Um, I haven't seen it for a long time. I will have to watch it. I'm trying to think of another film, any other films I've, I've seen that might get... might have had the... Um, there's something like Hooper, Hooper, with Burt Reynolds. I went to see it. That's got boobs in it as well, and I think that was a PG when I went to see it. Hooper. There we go, 1978. It's all 1978, isn't it, Pete? Oh, still PG. And that's got boobs in it because a, a woman comes out of a cake in that. Um, I did try watching that a year or so ago, or maybe a couple of years ago. It's bloody awful. I loved it when I was a kid. Uh, with all the stunts and stuff like that, but it was just really, really annoying me <laughs> when I watched it. I tried watching it recently, but uh, there, that, that was an A originally. But it's still a PG, which is equivalent to A. They haven't changed it, uh, so there'll still be boobs in it, I imagine. If you're interested in that sort of thing, I'm waffling, aren't I? Right, we'll leave it there. <laughs> we will leave it there. Right, so censorship eh? what's it like right so again i will uh, reiterate like and subscribe like and subscribe share the video drop a comment hit the notification bell if you subscribed already explore the description all that stuff right so thanks for watching and wherever you are look after each other and until next time i'll see you there.